It's time for spelling analysis. Are you ready? All right, our first word is exactly. That is exactly the right idea, exactly. Go ahead and say exactly. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three, we will say to spell X, act, Lee. What will we say to spell? X, act, Lee. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is X. X. The second syllable is act. A, k. Use a k, s, t. The third syllable is Lee. L, e. Use a y, e, i, e. Go ahead and write X, act, Lee. You've got it. Sound it out as you write it. Good, now help me to write it. The first syllable is X, X. The second syllable is act, A, K, T. The third syllable is Lee, L, E. And how will we mark it? That's right, Y, I, I, E said its fourth sound. And why did it do that? It's at the end of a multi-syllable base word. Do you see a small word in the middle of this word? Do you see the word or act? That's right. And you can also get the word exact. Look at that. There's all sorts of pieces or morphemes coming together to make the word exactly. The next word is tight. Those shoes are too tight. Go ahead and say tight. And let's sound it out. T I. Did you see this? T. Go ahead and write tight. Good. And help me to write it. Tight. T I. T. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the I. Let's read it. T I. T. Tight. The next word is messy. The room is so messy. Go ahead and say messy. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell mess C. What will we say to spell? Mess C. Let's sound it out. M S. The second syllable is C. S E. You've got it. It's a Y I I E. Go ahead and write mess C. Good. And help me to write it. M S. And the second syllable is C. S E. How do we mark it? That's right, y, i, i, e is saying its fourth sound. Let's read it, m, s, s, e, messy. Okay, I have a question for you. What happens if we take this off? We get the word mess, and notice we're doubling the s. It would only be one syllable, so that would be over here, but it's still the word mess. And why did we double the s? We often double F, L, or S after a single short or broad vowel. There it is. It's doubled after that short vowel. And if I have a mess, the room is messy. I added the Y to make the new word messy. The next word is remember. Remember, words are made of phonograms that have sounds and morphemes that have meaning. Remember. Go ahead and say remember. How many syllables in remember? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three. We will say to spell re-mem-ber. What will we say to spell? Re-mem-ber. All right, the first syllable is re, er, e. The second syllable is mem, m, e, m. The third syllable is ber, b, er, the er of her. Go ahead and write re-mem-ber. Sounding it out as you write it. That's the key to spelling big words. Excellent. Now help me to write it. The first syllable is re, er, e. The second syllable is mem, m, e, m. The third syllable is ber, b, er. And how will we mark it? We'll put a line over the e. Why? A, e, o, u usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. We'll underline the er. Let's sound it out. Er, e, m, a, m, b, er. Remember. <laughs> yeah. 
The next word is where. Would you like to wear your jacket? Where? Go ahead and say where. Let's sound it out. What a use an e a a er. Go ahead and write where. And that's right. It's an e a a. Excellent. Now help me to write it. What a er. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the A. What sound of E, A, A do we hear in where? The third. Let's read it. What, A, er, where? The next word is smooth. The table was sanded very smooth. Smooth. Go ahead and write, or say smooth. Let's sound it out. S, M, mm, U, use an U, uh, O. Go ahead and write smooth. Smooth. <laughs> Good. Help me to write it. S -m -u -v. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the oo and we'll underline the v. What sound of th -v do we hear? The second. Let's read it. S -m -u -v. Smooth. The next word is weave. Uh, we will use the loom to weave a, a pot holder. Weave. Go ahead and say weave. And let's sound it out. Weave. What e Use an e a a v. And what do you need? Silent final e. You are right. Go ahead and write weave. Good. And help me to write it. What e v. Silent final e. All right, did you use this kind of E? Good. And why do we have a silent final E in weave? Oh, you're right. English words do not end in V or U, therefore add in E. That's right. Let's read it. What E V? Weave. The next word is search. I will search all over to find the dog that is lost. Search. Go ahead and say search. Let's sound it out. S er ch. Did you see which kind of er? That's right. You've got it. Go ahead and write search. <laughs> Good. And help me to write it. S er ch. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the er and the ch. Let's read it. S er ch search. Great work today. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at foundations.logicofenglish.com.